a mobile bacteriological unit and all medical aid possible, together with 90 medical students from London hospitals, were rushed to the spot to deal with it. Lack of soap and water brought lice to the inmates, and lice carry typhus. To get rid of typhus, one must first get rid of lice. So contaminated patients were removed from their huts and put through a laundry process. DDT was dusted over them, and they were washed clean, wrapped in blankets, and removed in clean ambulances by teams working in relays in a miracle of relief work. Scores still died every day. They were too far gone, many of them, to digest any food, and there was a desperate shortage of nursing staff. Still, one could be thankful that they were not simply being left to rot away with neglect among a purulent mass of corpses.